Hi everybody, it's Tina and welcome to Suds and Serendipity. Um, today I'm going to make a quick batch of soap and thought I'd just take you along with me. It's going to be the butt naked scent and I'm thinking what better way to do butt naked than just to do a plain bar. I'm not going to add any color to it. It's just going to be the natural color of my hemp soap that I always make. So if you would like to see how I do that, just keep watching. shea butter over there in the double boiler and now I'm going to dip out my coconut oil. I did take those gloves off. I'm just going to try not to because they were quite the nuisance and my rubber catching gloves that I have are um little bit they're just a little bit too tight on my hands and it kind of hurts so I need to go up a size on those but uh, like I said I washed my hands and then I did you know go over them with the alcohol just to make sure I'm killing any germs that are on my hands it really concerns me I don't know if it does anybody else but I'm kind of weirded out by stuff like that this day and time it's very important that we think about the hygiene of the things that we're making you know our handmade products. We wouldn't want to pass along anything to someone else. And, you know, I know that the lie is going to kill anything that's in here, but it just, you know, it doesn't hurt anything to be a little cautious. Guys, you just missed some, some action now. Um, if things look a little bit different, that is because when I went to move the tripod with the ring light on it so that I could put the shea butter over onto the uh, double boiler to get that melted down, I knocked everything over. The ring light, the, the camera, everything went everywhere and kind of broke um, the ring light. So if it looks different and you can see these, now you see the light bulbs because the cover, I think I can fix it, but for now we're gonna go ahead with it and go ahead and get this video done um, and get this soap made. So now I've got all my liquid oils and some of my hard oils and then I've got my shea butter here that I need to get moved on over. Go ahead and get this added in. Now I've been having some bad luck with some of the new fragrance oils that I got. And uh, I don't know, I've been doing some research and some people say to um, add it to the oils before you add the lye. And uh, others say that I'm using too much. And so I'm not gonna add it to the oils, but I am going to cut back on how much I'm using. And we're gonna see if that has anything to do with it at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these oils blended up and then we're gonna add our lye water. So just a moment here. All right, I am gonna put my gloves on for the lye water portion of it. Got those on, now I'm nice and safe and protected. I'm gonna keep it away from my arms, keep the lid on it until I'm ready to pour. And I've got that good and mixed. And again, like I said, it's been sitting here for a couple of days, coming to room temperature. I'm gonna be very safe and make sure I don't get any of this on me. We're just gonna pour that in. Once I get this all poured in, I'm gonna take this directly over to the sink and add some cool water to it, just in case if there's anything else in there, it's gonna be diluted down. And I just don't want any, you know, anything happening, get anything on me. All right, let's go ahead and get that blended together. And then that lye water will go ahead, as it heats up, it will go ahead and, and melt the rest of my hard oils that are in there and butters. <coughs> So now we're going to go ahead and get our scent added in here. Get that teared out. We're 
we're going to add our scent, which is butt naked. And we're going to do a naked soap. And it says on the reviews that this behaves well. So let's see. I'm going to cut back on the amount of fragrance I'm using. And we're going to see if that helps. I just don't want it to not have a fragrance, you know, be fragrant. I like for my soap to be strong. Let's get this blended here in here with just a spatula and then we're going to get it poured into the mold and see what we got. So far it's not seizing. I've been getting a lot of seizing and ricing and maybe I was using too much but it's what I'd always used but maybe you know these are new scents for me so maybe that's maybe that's the situation. No, no. We're not going to do any colors or anything because this is butt naked. So this is just going to be our naked soap. We're going to get that poured into our big mold here and see how it goes. So far, it's wonderful, guys. Nice and fluid still, which is good and bad. All right, I'm gonna let that set up for a minute. Once that gets a little thicker where we can put a top on it, I'll be right back. All right, let's check and see if it's set up enough that we can add a design to the top. I just kinda of like to see if I can. This is my favorite. Then I like to come back down here and do the same kind of I got this little Chinese I don't know if it's Chi Chinese, Japanese, whatever. It's a set that I got. It had um, a set of um, chopsticks, metal chopsticks, and then a set, and then this spoon. And I just use that to texture the top of my soap with. It may not be quite set up enough yet, but I think that looks pretty good. We're gonna get this wrapped up in the blanket and put in the back room where it's warmer and let it set for 24 hours or tomorrow anyway and we will get it out and cut it and i will show you what that looks like well guys thank you so much for coming along with me this today while i made the butt naked soap <laughs> um i definitely need definitely need a lot of practice uh videoing myself making soap if you wouldn't mind to subscribe and share my video it would really help me out a lot, and um, I would really appreciate it. It means more to me than you know that you're watching this video. Thank you so much, and see you guys next time. Bye!